totally. I mean, you know, the human mind and the human heart are so mysterious. I mean, you know, uh, no neuroscientist. They, I know you've ne you've interviewed a lot of neuroscientists. Next time, ask them uh, what a thought is. You know, no neuroscientist can actually say anything intelligible about sentience, what's called sentience or awareness, how you get uh, consciousness, wakefulness. Uh, and we're connecting even, you know, we're looking at, at, at laptop screens and we're seeing each other, but we're not just seeing the image of each other there's a certain way in which in conversation we're resonating on some level that the technology is allowing, but it's not based on the technology. There's something incredibly mysteriously human about it. Yeah. It's like unbelievable. Well, nobody understands how the three pounds of meat in the head, as they say, or 86 billion neurons and 86 billion glial cells and thousands of trillions of synaptic connections that are changing all the time give rise to a sense of Anderson being on my screen and me being on Anderson's screen. And we're able to talk, not thinking that you're on the screen, but actually I, I feeling you right there sitting in your, in your space. That's like, we don't understand that. So I think it's really, for me, completely inspiring to realize how much we don't know and how much we don't even know we don't know about what it what it really in, means to be human. Mm -hmm.